you want to manifest hair growth, you know, regrowth in your hair, if you have hair that's thinning, maybe it's because of a hormonal condition or imbalance, uh, maybe you are going through, you know, balding, how to reverse that, how to manifest the opposite of that and what is really possible for you and for your body. That's what we're going into in this video. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliette Cleary. I'm a manifestation coach. And if you're new here, make sure that you subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. If you would like to work with me, that information's in the description box below for you. The truth is there is nothing that cannot be improved. There is nothing that is to do with your body that cannot be changed, okay? So we are energy. And if there is a physical condition or an illness that is unwanted, that is bothering you, that is a sign of resistance, it can be released. Over time, as you feel more resistance, which means you are practicing thoughts and emotions that don't feel good, that don't serve you, over time, what do you think that does to your body? For the majority of us on this earth, we are more so living in survival mode. More of the time, we are operating from that default mode of just reacting to whatever, right? And so we're consistently in survival mode. When you are in survival mode, which is fight flight, your body cannot repair, cannot heal, cannot restore. It is not in, it comes out of homeostasis. And so when you're regularly in survival mode, there is kind of like this gradual breakdown of the body. And so when, as we move through life and we are practicing more resistance and we don't do much to release resistance, it shows up in our body. Okay. And so that's really what, um, you know, aging is. As well as that, because it has been happening for so long, there's an underlying belief there that this is normal, that this is just what happens, that you reach a certain age and you'll start losing your hair or whatever it is. Uh, as you get older, your hair starts to thin out. Even, you know, as you get older, your hair starts to turn gray no, that's a belief. It doesn't have to be your experience. And then there's also generational beliefs like, okay, my father was bald. And so that means that it's going to happen to me. You literally just created that experience for yourself because your genes don't really mean anything. You can manifest any experience for yourself. You're literally a creator. So you're not limited by the family that you were born into. In the past, I've actually been able to manifest thicker, faster growing hair. And it was only a result of, okay, I had the desire. I'm also strengthening my beliefs because I'm focused on consistently. I'm focused on learning this work. I'm learning the science behind it. I'm focused on success stories and what's possible. So. I'm building more belief in general that anything can be my experience. And then I let it go and I'm practicing more alignment. So I'm getting on a higher frequency uh, where my body is allowed to thrive, right? So, and then I found that my hair was just so thick and so long and I had people thinking that I was wearing hair extensions. And if you're um, balding or you're, uh, hair thinning is a result of a physical condition, an illness or a hormonal condition. Know that it can absolutely change so easily because you can bring balance back to your body. And it doesn't matter what anyone else says. As quickly as you manifested that physical illness or that condition, it can be gone because it's only a matter of you shifting into new energy. That's it. And so this is already done for you. It's already a potential in the quantum field for you to be living, but it's really you building a new belief and then it is aligning with the desire. Again, when you get out of survival mode, back into alignment, back into a state of homeostasis of relaxation, you allow your body to repair. You allow your body to heal and restore back to its natural state 
of well-being. And that means that even if you were thinning or you were balding, that hair can begin to grow back. There are no limits for you and there are no limits for our bodies. I remember I actually heard a story of this woman who was doing, you know, inner work basically, becoming a better version of herself and doing meditations. And after one of the meditations, she had such a releasing of resistance, right? The meditation is there to put you in a state of allowing and receiving. And there's also the belief behind it of, okay, this is actually going to help me. This is actually going to heal my body, or change my biology. And so there's the belief there, right? So there's those two pieces. And she was able to release a lot of resistance. And she found that not long after, her hair and her nails were growing super fast because she just had like, she returned back to her natural state of well-being, that fullness of who we really are, that, that absolute alignment. And in that power, your body just thrives in ways that, you know, you wouldn't even be able to imagine right now or expect. And when you think about it, there are people healing stage four cancer. There are people manifesting their tumors away. There are people, you know, improving Parkinson's, people who have healed their own MS. There are people getting out of wheelchairs that were paralyzed for years. There are people healing their diagnosed infertility and now they're pregnant or they had their baby. People are doing these incredible things every single day. And so don't you think that you can grow more hair? And really what it comes down to is you getting back into your power, releasing resistance and coming back into alignment. If you're struggling with this problem or something like this, know that you can absolutely have what you want. You can absolutely experience the kind of health and well-being that you want. Okay, and I'm going to give you three steps right now to help you to bridge the gap between where you are right now and where you want to be. So step number one, we have to build on a new belief. So especially for something like, you know, balding due to aging, which has such a strong belief. If we were as a collective to begin releasing that belief, people would stop balding. Like that, that's as simple as it is. But even if you have, you know, a physical condition or a hormonal condition, which is causing your hair to thin, we need to build a new belief. We need to focus on what we want to believe and what is possible. I will tell you that for everyone that is healing through this kind of work, this kind of manifestation work, meditation, you know, people who do Dr. Joe Dispenza's work, like, yes, it's, it's the processes and yes, it's the meditation, but the biggest piece of this is that the person, the individual found a way to believe or expect that this is possible and it can happen for me too. That is huge. The reason why, for example, Dr. Joe Dispenza's, and he says this as well, why his work is just so big with healing and there's more people having incredible transformations that we thought were you know, impossible, it's because of this large community, right? Of people being positive examples, being, you know, the success stories and people watching and listening. And it creates a new paradigm. It shatters the old paradigm of what you thought was possible. And like, oh my God, there's something else I can have. Actually, this is not what I thought it was. I can actually have what I want. And that shift in your mind, whether you then let it go and just, you know, forget about it or you do processes and you do meditation or whatever. But that shift into realizing that there is more that you can have here is everything. And this is a step for basically everything that I've manifested is that you can't, especially with the body and with health, is you want to show, you want to show your mind, your brain, you want to subject it to information, to even the science behind it, to any success stories that you can find, okay? Or any kind of little evidence that this can work, that you can have what you want. 
consistently focusing on why it can happen as opposed to the thoughts that usually go through our heads of, oh, I'm stuck like this, it's never gonna happen, it's impossible or it's highly unlikely, it hasn't changed for however long. Nope, we're not thinking those thoughts anymore. What do you want to believe? Why is it that this can happen? And then find reasons, stories, people's uh, experiences to back up that belief. Uh, because once you shift into realizing, like truly realizing, oh my God, I can have this, it's gonna happen for you. Number two is you gotta shift the underlying vibration or emotion. This is all about how you feel. Everything is based around emotion. Emotion is energy in motion. And how you feel equals your point of attraction. And just like I talked about before, um, when you are practicing a lot of resistance, so a lot of negative thoughts and emotions, your body will reflect that back to you. But that doesn't mean you can't bounce back and have a completely different experience than you're having right now. But you cannot continue feeling, for the most part, the way that you have been feeling and get what you want. So in order for you to um, have, you know, more hair regrowth where you would feel grateful, you would feel joyful, um, you would feel maybe confident, right? You would feel really happy. And so if you are living by the emotions of disappointment, frustration, discouragement, um, you know, stress, worry, and it could be on a range of subjects, but that's how you're feeling. That's your dominant vibration. So you're thinking and feeling that way the majority of the time, then you can't really expect much to change. Your body is going to mirror you. Your whole life is a mirror, right? Um, but you need to start feeling how you would feel if you had it. It doesn't matter how you get there, how you manage to feel those emotions, but you need to start practicing a different vibration. The underlying vibration behind this, maybe it's like, I feel unattractive, I'm not good enough. Uh, maybe the, the feeling is things don't work out for me. Maybe the feeling is um, I'm just really discouraged or I feel powerless. Like whatever the feeling is beneath it, we need to bring that up, which means you need to start making new choices to feel differently, to think differently and to act differently differently. And this is how we change our energy. This is how we raise our frequency to the frequency that matches what we want. Now, the third step is to visualize and meditate. A really powerful time to visualize is during meditation. Now, you don't necessarily need to be specific with your visualization. It can be really powerful to be able to see or visualize that you know you have the hair that you want and you're feeling really good about yourself but if that feels like too much like in the moment it brings up resistance and you don't feel good and you don't believe it then just practice the feeling of moving through your life and you feel so grateful and so confident and so happy and so satisfied so grateful so good about yourself so when we do this the brain and the body do not know the difference between something you're imagining, something, you know, even an emotion that you're just conjuring um, or something you're actually experiencing and living. And because of that, the body will begin to change to match the image that you're focusing on in your mind or the feeling of it. Right. And even if you're just seeing the image in your mind, you have to have the feeling. The feeling is the most important piece. So whether you visualize it or not, that's up to you. It is more important that you feel the emotion of it already done. And that can be as simple as just relief and gratitude. Another thing you could do is if you used to have really thick or wonderful hair, to put yourself back in the moment where you already had it, that time that you already had it, and just remember how it felt and remember who you were and just kind of tap into that feeling and that reality. Because even though it's the past, 
Again, the brain and the body doesn't know the difference between whether that's a past experience or whether that's happening now, and it will begin to change and modify, okay? So you seeing it in your mind or remembering how it felt or imagining how it would feel is going to convince your brain and your body that it's happening right now. And so then it is only your job um, when you're moving through the rest of your day, if you begin to react, if you begin to notice that it's not there yet or it, it's missing and it feels bad, let that be okay, okay? But don't sit in the reaction for too long. Everything is about your reaction, okay? Because we're wanting to keep you more so, like for the most part, at a higher frequency, which means in a better feeling mood, in a good mood, okay? So even if you react, okay, don't make it a big deal. It's not a big deal. And it doesn't matter as long as your dominant vibration is one that feels good, is one that does believe or that is one that um, is in alignment, does feel really, you know, happy or grateful or satisfied or whatever, um, making the most of things, appreciating. If that's your dominant vibration, then it doesn't matter if you freak out here or there, just don't make a big deal of it and, and don't keep it going for too long. Okay, so... Those three steps are super, super powerful and super important. And then I would just add to watch your words of how you, you think about yourself, how you think about your hair or the condition, the physical condition causing um, the hair loss. And what you're saying are you, because every time you talk about it, you think about it, or you explain it, or you justify it, or whatever, you're affirming it. You're reaffirming it, and you're keeping it as part of your experience. Another thing you can do is talk to your body. Talk to the cells of your body before you go to sleep at night, and just lovingly suggest what you want it to do, and release that knowing that it's done. Okay, so try these steps out. Let me know how you go, what you thought in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. To work with me, that information's in the description box below. Have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.